Welcome back to another review. I've got an interesting device in today. This is a charger for the Sony FW50 batteries. I put the spec up on the screen for you just so you can have a quick look. But it's also a memory card reader and it has a place to store an additional SD card. So we go through the usual unboxing just to show you the product in a bit more detail. The build on this is quite nice. It has a fairly thick silicone covering on the outside. On the underside that will just list out the charging speeds, they're quoting 800 milliamps, but we'll do a little test later on with that. Port on this is the micro USB 3 type and that's an extended port and you sometimes find this on hard drives external 2.5 inch or card readers. Cable length's about 30 centimeters. I would prefer the type C port I have to be honest because that's becoming much more popular lately particularly with phones and other devices it's okay you just have to remember to put it in the right way around there is another thing that you can do with this type b port and that is use a normal micro usb cable but micro usb is usb 2 it won't make any difference for the charging but your speeds will be slower and that means they'll top out around about 30 megabytes a second so it's going to be quite a bit slower but it's still usable so apart from that small point uh, the build overall feels quite nice. The top section here you can hold an SD card, click that into place quite firmly. Only thing I'd say on this is the good quality cards, no problem at all, but if you flimsy cards it does require a bit of pressure. Apart from the two battery slots you'll see in the middle you also have another slot for an SD card. Put that in with the label facing to the right, then you'll be able to use this as a memory card reader. So I get the idea is really because you can just take this on the go with you and it's a dual charger you can charge single batteries as well if you want and then you've got the card reader as well as some additional storage space for a couple of cards the other thing to note is that with a lot of the cameras nowadays particularly with this battery they don't actually come with a charger so you have to charge them in camera which isn't really ideal particularly if you get through quite a few batteries and these aren't the biggest capacity batteries out there you do tend to get through them fairly quickly particularly if you're doing video these are the two batteries that are included, but you can also use your original batteries, the Sony ones or other third party ones. Doesn't really make any difference. I'm going to be doing a quick test on these, but I will quickly show you the user guide. There is one point to note which you would probably overlook if you weren't reading the manual, and that is the charging speed is quicker if you have a single battery versus charging two at the same time. When you're using it as a memory card reader, you'll see the LEDs flash red and green. I'm just connecting now to the computer just to get an idea on the speed. You've got up to 300 megabytes a second. My cards tend to top out around about 95. I'm getting into the 80s here, so it's a fairly good result, not too far off of my Kingston card reader. Looking at the current, we'll put a single battery in and see what that takes it up to. Bear in mind that there is some circuitry, you've got the LED lights as well, we'll take away a little bit of that power. So we're getting just under the 1.2 amps with a single battery inserted. So you will get slightly faster charge speed with a single cell. Put the second battery in. So you see the charging speed will go up to around about two amps. So that's gonna be split between those two batteries. I have done a capacity test. This is a charge capacity test. So on the first battery, that took one hour, 27 minutes, and came in just under the 1000 milliamp hours, just a touch under the quoted capacity. And the second cell, one hour, 25. Again, just under the 1000. Quite an acceptable result for third party cells. Red for charging and green is complete. I will be using the cells longer term just to see how they hold up over an extended period of time. So keep an eye out in the comment section. Overall though, pretty useful little device. I think if you do need those three in one functions or a dual charger, quite a nice little product. Thanks for watching the video and I'll catch you soon.